Oh, here's a great strike move by Arnold Keith Earls. Hello and welcome back to GDD Coaching Analysis. Ireland finished their Six Nations campaign in style, with a resounding 32 points to 18 win over England. But even more impressive than the scoreline were Ireland's two tries. And of those two, we're going to focus on Keith Earls' try. And consider, is this the best try of the Championship? But before we look at the try itself, it's important to note that a good attack is built in a good defence. So let's look at how Ireland got into that position in the first place. England have a scrum and run a tidy 8-9 into blocker play. But Ireland's defence here is excellent. Firstly, although Farrell and Co are trying to hold the Irish centre field, Bundyaki just chops his feet, stays square so he can defend inside and out, and doesn't buy the dummy hands from George Ford. Instead, he immediately pushes across, which gives Henshaw loads of confidence to chop the drift in Johnny May, and Stockdale has a grand job of tracking Daly. Now because Stockdale is away from the tackle, it's really important that Aki can test the ruck, and that's to slow the attack down, which gives time the defence is set. That then allows him to press harder the next phase, with Byrne and Conan making a solid double tackle. Now this phase is pivotal, and is a play that Ireland will have been expecting, as England used it against France. Ford it duels, who turns inside a pass to Farrell, rather than on the outside like a normal blocker play. And that style of pass can be difficult to read, but Stander reads it perfectly, and along with Herring, shuts the door on Farrell, which tends to be where the space is. And as both Cowan Dickey and Marco Vinopola have overrun the pass, Watson is the only remaining option, and he's well tackled by Henshaw, who's reloaded 60 metres from the left touchline. And again, that policy of challenging the ruck pays off, with Vinopola slipping up and getting penalised for a neck roll on the outstanding Conor Murray on his return to the nine shirt. And now, is this try, a planned overthrow and outrageous pass from Conan to Keith Earls, the best try of the Six Nations? Let's break down the details to help us decide. We start with a 6 plus 1 line out with Josh van der Fleer stood in the scrum half position, and as is common for both Ireland and Leinster, Conor Murray is positioned in the 5 metre line and Keith Earls in the 15 metre line. Importantly, Ireland shift forwards and throw to the tail, and the purpose of that is ensure that England don't have a tail gunner, and also to open up the hinge, that little bit extra that causes a disconnect in the England defence. I'm a massive fan of this clever adaptation. Rather than 12 coming from 10 metres back, like Fiku did against England, which I've covered in detail in another video, Conan swaps with Van der Fleer, which makes it look like a mall setup, and also gives Herring a larger margin for error, as Conan is able to adapt, being closer to the target zone. Tom Curry does incredibly well to read this, and almost blocks the catch, which makes Conan's jump, catch and pass all the more impressive. And then it's over to an a Munster and Ireland's finest to do his thing. If experience brings anything, it's timing. And notice that Earls is still 10 metres back, even though the ball is just about crossing the 50 metre line, and that's essential. If he goes too early, then he gives the game away, and allows the defenders time to react. She's waited patiently, and then springs into action, drifting away from the covering Vinopola. And this is finishing of the highest order. He stays square, steps inside and out, which gets May going sideways, and there was no recovering from that angle from May. A classy 34th try in 93 appearances for Earls, and more to come, I'm sure. Was that the best try of the Six Nations? Well, this is a massive category. I absolutely love the try that Rhys Amit scored against Scotland for Wales, massive fan of Dupont's try for France against Italy, and indeed Penault's overthrow try against England. I think this one's too tough for me to call. Well, I'd love to know what you think. So please do leave me a comment down below, and also please do hit the like button, as it really does help the channel grow. And just to finish, a massive yechida a poor look to CJ Stander, a wonderful servant of Irish rugby. Until next time.